I grew up in apartheid. The only thing that kept me alive as a student at the university or even as a citizen of the country for which I had no vote uh, in apartheid was the newspaper. Uh, the editors were on house arrest because they were truthful. So newspaper as a form of democracy is not just a saying, it's a truthful reality. I said, look, it's an, it's an institution that needs to be saved and survived. So while it was clearly, I, I agree, it was overpriced, um, but it, I think the Times, early Times, was in what I call an existential position. And if I didn't stay, you know, step up, um, I even could have lost the paper and lost the Washington Bureau. And I think it's a tragedy not only for the city, the state, but also for democracy. We took this building and created, I think now, the most modernized newsroom with the largest fiber infrastructure that's tied to our 150 plus data center network, tied to our fiber so that we can communicate not only with this nation but with the world. I believe that the stories that we tell needs to create a distribution model whether it be over the top, whether it be video, whether it be broadcast, whether it be TV, whether it be podcast, whether it be print. As long as these stories are of interest to the viewer. I think that's really the secret source of a good paper, to, to have an incredibly strong editorial newsroom department. Uh, people with journalistic skills Journalism has a passion, desire to go find important stories, tell the stories, tell the truthful stories. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to build, build that, 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 that group back up. That's going to be very difficult, and that's what I worry about, right? It's, it's really an, an anthropological change. Uh, that's one of the unintended consequences of the mobile device. That's the, one of the unintended consequences of social media. Um, um, so the idea is we have to find other areas to engage. So that's why we got involved with uh, part of the thing on eSports, because that's where they engaged. Um, we need to get uh, areas that we think this millennium age engages in and give them maybe short form content and longer form content and just provide the environment to do that. I think we have to make a, well, I don't call it a profit from the sake of a business perspective. You're not going to make a lot of money. I think this is, that's never been the, the goal. I think it's a, a losing revenue business. But without the ability to thrive and, 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 and grow, we wouldn't be able to hire uh, more journalists. So the answer is we have to in order to actually invest. So I think the idea is we need to grow and thrive so that we can invest back. So the idea is to invest back. 